What is happening, Magnusites? Wonder. Give me some good news, man. Come on. Help a brother out. <laughs> oh. All right. So it looks like we are in for a good old-fashioned shakeup at Marvel Studios. Mm -hmm. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. There certainly is a lot of buzz right now about Marvel Studios going around with the announcement that Robert Downey Jr. is returning to the MCU to play not Iron Man, but Doctor Doom. With his return, the Russo brothers return as well to direct the next two Avengers films. And whether fans like it or don't like it, everybody is talking about it. But with the mm -hmm. arrival of Robert Downey Jr. and the Russo brothers and and Steven McFeely to write the next two Avengers films come a lot more changes with Marvel Studios. And it looks like Marvel still hasn't 100% decided what the future will look like and that's actually a good thing and I'll explain why in this video. And since they haven't fully decided, they have actually made a lot of changes, especially when it comes to revealing to us fans what's going to come next. And with that comes a lot of different topics like D23, the Scarlet Witch, Blade, some X-Men spinoffs and spinoffs from Deadpool and Wolverine. We're going to talk about all of that mm. in this video. Okay. Now, I want to start off with D23 because that's coming up tomorrow. And for a while, ah. us, the fans, were expecting a lot from Marvel, from SDCC and D23. And you could definitely say that we got a lot from Marvel at San Diego Comic-Con's Hall H. However, it wasn't what we thought we were going to get. Yeah. Granted, we never thought that we were going to get an announcement yeah. that Robert yeah, Downey Jr. True. was returning as Doctor Doom yeah. and the Russo brothers were returning, but we thought we were going to get a reveal of Phase 6, or at least a reveal of a lot of new projects. And when we didn't, when we got these big announcements about Doom, a lot of people are looking at D23 now going, well, maybe that's when we'll get these announcements. Well, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. It looks like Marvel Studios really does plan on focusing on what is immediately coming up for Marvel Studios. Mm. And this seems like a shift in plans from what Marvel Studios typically does. But it seems like it's very calculated for a very specific reason. Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus recently did a Q&A in their Discord, and somebody said something about not getting anything new at SDCC about the future projects, and Alex said this. The decision to not address the entire upcoming slate of Marvel movies and shows, as I understand it, stems from an idea to have audiences focus more on the immediate upcoming releases rather than focus too far ahead in the future. The reason why Doomsday and RD... Probably because it's rocky and they don't know what they're going to do yet. Jay as Doom was revealed is because they wanted to tackle... What the hell does that sound? Them. Someone's fucking. I ain't heard nobody stereo that loud in a long time. Your five thing in one fell swoop. But Marvel's main focus right now is Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolts, and Fantastic Four for the film side. Ironheart and Daredevil Born Again for television. So at SDCC, they gave us what we wanted, essentially an update about Avengers 5, an update about Kang. We got that. But as far as looking at D23, again, like Alex stated, looks like Marvel Studios has kind of changed their plans. Instead of revealing future projects at these events, they're going to now start to focus more on what is immediately upcoming. So at D23, we've heard that what to expect from Marvel is probably information about Agatha, and we've even heard that we might be getting a new trailer for Agatha that should be released online if they release it at D23. Promotion. I don't even think I'm even interested in Agatha anymore. It was funny. Um, you know, I told you guys like, you know, there, there could be, there could come a day to where I'm just not interested in nothing at all as far as covering certain things. Kind of like with WWE, it became such trash that I left and I never came back. You see how long it's taken me to get through Batman, right? The Caped Crusader? I should have finished that by now. I haven't wanted to. So, when you, you get me to that indifferent where I don't care, you know that's a problem. So, uh, if they want to get me back in, they definitely better turn things around. So, the rumors are they are. So, let's see. But... And I'm talking about all, I mean, you know, I've heard Hollywood uh, uh, has got the, the, the message loud and clear. <laughs> so we'll see.
options for Daredevil Born Again, and then they will talk about Ironheart. According to Nexus Point News, this is what Marvel Studios is going to focus on at D23. So no super huge reveals, and I believe that this is because Marvel Studios hasn't 100% decided on what they're actually going to do. See? I think is a That's really what I just said. Thing, because I don't think the plan that they had before was super planned out as well. I don't think they had it locked down. I think they were kind of panicking about what to do about Kang. And now that they finally know who the big bad is going to be, what the next Avengers film is going to be about, and they're beginning writing that and seeing what that's going to be like, they're going to lock down everything else. And I think right now the potential is actually greater than it was before. Especially if you consider just how successful Deadpool and Wolverine is at the box office right now. Plus, the fans absolutely love it. So it's not just that it's performing well, but people actually love the movie. And yep. it seems like Marvel Studios has kind of... How about that? Give the people what they want and it performs well. Who would have ever thought of it? It's so interesting. Picked up on that, thankfully. Because it looks like they might be making some decisions based off of how successful Deadpool and Wolverine is slash was. Because rumor has it, and if you haven't seen Deadpool and Wolverine, I'm about to talk about some of the cameos. So, spoiler warning, if you don't want to hear it, skip forward about 35 seconds. But there have been rumors going around recently that we could get some spinoffs from Deadpool and Wolverine, specifically about two different characters, Gambit, and Blade. Now, if you didn't catch it at the end during the tribute to the old Fox movies that they played during the mid-credits, there is a part in there where it looks like Gambit is seemingly going back to his universe, or if he doesn't have a universe like we're kind of led to believe in the movie, he's going back to A universe. The tribute footage does show him ending up somewhere, and we do know that the TVA managed to bring back that whole group, Elektra, X-23, Blade, and Gambit. Mm -hmm. That was made very clear by the ending when we saw X-23 with Wolverine. And right now, the rumors are going around that Blade and Gambit could get spinoffs in the MCU. Now, they're just rumors for now, but it does kind of seem like they do have plans for them to appear in the future, kind of no matter what, like in Avengers Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. And I certainly would love to see both of them return, because I thought both of their appearances were just absolutely epic. They both nailed their roles, and I can't get enough of the Channing Tatum memes. They're just yeah, awesome. They're fun. Now, we have a lot more to talk about, specifically upcoming about Blade. Now, going back to Blade, we were talking about the new Blade with Mahershala Ali. We have kind of some concerning news about Blade, and it leads to possibly a huge delay for a lot of other projects for Marvel Studios. So last week, Marvel Studios put out an updated film slate that goes all the way through 2027, and Blade was listed on that. However, yesterday, Disney CEO Bob Iger in their quarter 3 FY24... I've always thought that that's a good mock-up there, fan-made, looks legit or earnings statement, made a statement to the investors that said that they were looking at their upcoming theatrical slate and they are excited to bring audiences a number of titles that expand their popular franchises and bring these stories to life, in which he listed them. He said, in 2025, our theatrical slate remains just as robust with Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolts, The Fantastic Four, First Steps, Zootopia 2 and Avatar 3, and in 2026, we look forward to Avengers Doomsday, a new Star Wars movie featuring The Mandalorian and Grogu, and Toy Story 5, the first Toy Story movie since 2019. No mention of Blade whatsoever. Now, what's really interesting about this is that Kevin Feige stated that they're not going to make the movie until it works. And recently we <laughs> heard that they got a new writer once again. This movie has gone through a lot of writer. Define works. <laughs> and director changes, but apparently they're kind of getting on track now. At least we thought until Bob Iger didn't mention the movie. And there are a lot of other changes that Marvel Studios have made oh, and it seems cool. like during all of these changes Blade could have possibly got pushed back to after the Multiverse Saga. And if that is the case it's a really big bummer because Blade is kind of the center point for the supernatural side of the MCU. In fact, we've heard from insiders that the plan was for Blade to kind of be the Nick Fury of the supernatural Natural side slash the Midnight Suns. Oh. So sadly, if Blade gets delayed until after the Multiverse Saga, if he gets delayed till Phase Seven, then that most likely means that the Midnight Suns and the other supernatural heroes are most likely getting delayed till then as well. 
Which is unfortunate, but Kevin Feige himself said that they're not going to make this movie until they can get it right, and it sounds like they just really haven't been able to get it right. So with their new plans for Doom and Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars, they might just put this on the back burner until the next saga. We'll have to wait and see on that, but another mm. one that a lot of fans are really curious about is the Scarlet Witch. When is she going to return? Is she still going to get that solo movie that insiders have been stating Marvel Studios wants for her, or is she just going to pop up in the next Avengers? film or at some point in time i guess we'll just have to see they're supposed to be getting away from that the rumor they're getting away from all the girl power stuff so i mean they could definitely do a good um scarlet witch movie it's just gotta write it right just go back to the, the good old days of writing a good female lead movie without preaching to people and you should be fine in the multiverse saga. Well, if you noticed in Deadpool and Wolverine, when they were at the base of all of those cameoed characters, when Deadpool and Wolverine were taken there, the first thing that they showed was a sculpture, a statue of the Scarlet Witch, which grabbed the curiosity of a lot of fans who caught that. There was a lot Wait, of talk what? of the Scarlet Witch in there. The first thing that they showed of all of those cameoed characters when Deadpool and Wolverine were taken there the first thing that they showed was a sculpture a statue of the Scarlet Witch which grabbed the curiosity of a lot of fans who caught that there was a lot of talk about the Scarlet mm, Witch possibly appearing in Deadpool and Wolverine a while ago before it released and it seems like early plans might have included her in the movie obviously she was not in it but we did get this little easter egg here which makes us curious as to what is going to happen with her now again a lot of insiders for a while said that Marvel Studios wants to do a solo Scarlet Witch film. However, that might have changed as well because Marvel Studios basically just kind of changed all of their plans for Phase 6, essentially, with the exception of maybe the Fantastic Four. So unfortunately, we'll right now, the Scarlet Witch solo movie is up in limbo as well. But I'm sure she's going to pop up in the multiverse saga at some point in time, especially if Doctor Doom has sorcery powers. It seems like her and Strange would have to go up against Doctor Doom because they might be two of the only people powerful enough to even go up against him because make no mistake everything that is going to happen pretty much from here on out once doom is introduced it's going to focus on doom and it seems like they are essentially starting over with what they originally had planned for phase six obviously some things are staying the same like the fantastic <laughs> Four, but avengers mm. 5 and avengers mm. secret wars have changed in a pretty big way obviously avengers 5 instead of being about kang and being the king dynasty is now about doom and is doomsday this directly affects Secret Wars as well because Doom is now the main villain of that. And this of course was Marvel Studios' response to Jonathan Majors being fired. They could have recast Kang, but they decided to go a completely different direction and bring back Robert Downey Jr. as Doom. Now this of course was a very calculated decision, one that they made so they could make the hype for Marvel Studios bigger than it's been in a really, really long time. But the Russo brothers weren't seemingly a part of Marvel Studios' plans because we heard right. that Robert Downey Jr. Jr. said he wouldn't return or he That's would right. only return if the Russo brothers were the ones to do Avengers Doomsday hmm. and Secret Wars. So it looks like the Russo brothers seemingly weren't a part of Marvel's original plans to do Doomsday in the next Secret Wars. But I actually think that but they are now them return. And they sent out a press letter from their company that stated that Stephen McFeely was going back to Marvel Studios with them. So it looks like he is going to be writing the next two Avengers films, which is also got yeah, Mr. Russo stomach meat coming out. <laughs> So a really big change because originally we had Michael Waldron writing both. Both movies already had writers and scripts, at least rough drafts of scripts already written. And now with the Russo brothers and a new villain and new writers, it looks like the plans for both of these movies have completely changed. And this isn't bad because things got pretty messy with King with the whole Jonathan Major situation because it seemed like Marvel Studios just really didn't want to recast. Kind of seems like the T'Challa situation all over again, but they didn't really have a problem recasting Thunderbolt Ross, so who knows what's going on mm -hmm. in their heads over there. But basically... Yeah! They had no problem recasting Thunderbolt Ross. So why not Black Panther? So why not Kang? Come on now. 
Basically, what seems to be happening over at Marvel Studios right now is that they are essentially reevaluating the story of the multiverse saga as a whole. And with this will, I think, come the delay or complete cancellation of certain projects. That could be Armor Wars, that could be Blade, who knows. It seems like Marvel Studios right now is getting it all together, probably focusing around Avengers 5 and Secret Wars. And once they get that locked down, then they'll decide, hey, we're going to do a Scarlet Witch film. Hey, we're going to get Blade out before these films, what exactly are we going to do? And like I've stated, I think this is actually putting Marvel Studios in a really good position. And the Russo brothers have shown time and time again, so has Stephen McFeely, that they can make great movies. The best Marvel movies, really. So call it what you want. Call it a great move. Call it desperation for Marvel Studios. I don't really care because I think it works out for us fans. I think they're going to produce amazing movies. And I personally am really excited to see what they come up with and to see the future of the MCU. So these changes, I believe, are good, but go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the... Guess we're just going to have to see. <laughs> Thank you for the info, Cosmic Wonder. Get over and subscribe to Cosmic Wonder. Tell them Top Row Magnus sent you. And I will see you in the next video. 10 million subscribers. <gasps> Woo!